Madam, I stand to oppose the demand, demand for grants of year 2021-22 for the Ministry of Education. And my primary reason of opposing this is that in this ministry's demand, there is no such concrete steps have been shown or taken in last six years by this particular ministry to improve uh, the education upliftment of the Muslim minorities, to ensure that the dropout rate uh, decreases, and I put to, to, to you, Madam, to the, uh, to the Honorable Minister, that the literacy rate of Muslims in the country is 68.5 percent. The national literacy rate is 74.04 percent. And the Muslim female literacy rate is 62 percent, and the national literacy rate is 65.44 percent. Now, Madam, if you, the own Honorable Minister's uh, ministry survey of 2018-19 says, uh, sorry, 16-17 says that the Muslim enrollment as percentage in the education in the primary and higher education is only 13.14 percent. His own survey of 2018-19, All India Survey for Higher Education shows that there are only 19.5 lakh Muslim students in higher education. Out of that, 9.93 lakh are boys. 9.65 lakhs are girls. That is only 5.23 percent of the total enrollment in higher education. The Prime Minister talked about, I will give Muslims in one hand uh, Quran, one hand computer. His own ministry's survey, Madam, of 2018-19, the percentage of computers in Muslim household is only 16 percent, second lowest. Internet in household, Muslims only 32 percent, again second lowest. Now, when it comes to computer operations, again, second lowest, 38 percent, his own ministry survey. Thirdly, Madam, may, all, may I also point out through you to the government that his own, the, the Kundu Committee report has been given to the government. The Kundu Committee report from page 74 to page 97 lays down all the ills which the Muslims are facing. And the reason for the highest dropout rate, they say, is they have listed out eight factors. Biggest is financial constraint. You, I had demanded removal of Hajj subsidy. That 600 crore should have been given for Muslim girls' education. No mention. What, what does the Kundu Committee report say, Madam? At the age of seven years, there is 100% attendance is observed among all minorities, amongst Hindu OBCs and other upper caste. But for Muslims, it is 90% and 94% for SCNST. Dropout rate again, madam, at the dropout rate for Muslims starts at the age of 10 years. Same for SCNST. For other communities, whether Hindu OBCs, upper caste, it starts from 11 years. This in itself shows that you have not done anything for the education upliftment of Muslims. Madam, third point which I want to bring to your uh, to the government notice through you is that the Aligarh Muslim University campus, the honorable member from Kerala has raised it, Kishan Ganj, in Bihar is the most backward area of our country, Simanchal. Madam, do you know that in this B.A. degree course, there, there is no affiliation given by National Council for Teacher Education? May I request the Honorable Minister, sir, at least give affiliation for that B.A. courses from National Council for Teacher Education? Why haven't you opened more number of courses? Please, I demand from the government, allocate 500 crores in this Kishan Ganj AMU campus to and start new courses that because that area of Simanchal deserves this education institutes. Madam, my fourth point which I want to bring to the notice of the government is that uh, Institute, of, Institute of Eminence, why have you left out Jami Milia University? The top 10 university of our country doesn't find a mention in the Institute of Eminence. I don't know why such uh, biasness is being shown in not including Jami Milia University. Madam, my fifth point about national education policy, I strongly condemn this approach of this government of promoting homogeneity in the country through national education policy. The beauty of our country is heterogeneous. You are doing that and then your NEP does not talk about upliftment of Urdu. It does not talk about how you will control the dropout rate of Muslims. Nothing is mentioned. And, and Madam, may I also bring to notice of you is that this whole total education budget is out of that 44,000 comes from education cess, 4,800 crores come from national investment fund. So basically, the fate of allocation 
it depends on, on, on such education and disinvestment proceeds. If tomorrow disinvestment proceeds or the such education comes down, you will be the sufferer. It is, you have mentioned in your documents. Madam, my sixth point, uh, which I want to bring to the notice of the government is, is, is this not a fact? That the total union budget spending on education as percentage of union budget, in 2015 it was 3.8. Look at your approach to the education sector, it has come down to 2.7%. This shows that you're not at all serious because your data says there is a drop of union budget spending on education as percentage of budget. Madam, my fifth point I want to know from the Honorable Minister, Sir, National Institute of Open Schools, under Indian knowledge and heritage, you have included Ramayana and Gita, I have no issues. But why, why have you not included Quran? Bible and Guru Granth Sahib. And madam, you are an eminent lawyer. You know law much better than me also. Article 28, madam, by including teaching of Ramayana and Gita in National Institute Open School, is it a violation of Article 28? A complete violation of Article 28. And what has stopped you from including Quran and Bible and Guru Granth Sahib? That is why I say that you do not believe in the diversity of this country for everything. You want to bring in your Hindu ideology in education. That is why, madam, I stand to oppose. My demand is make scholarship for minorities demand-driven. Make it demand-driven. Every year, madam, one crore Muslim boys and girls are being denied scholarship. Why? Because you have fixed a number. You proudly claim this number has been given. But one crore are denied. This is the fate of the Muslim education in, in primary education, higher education. I hope that the government will would wake up from this slumber and do something constructive for the education upliftment of Muslim minorities. Thank you, madam.